welcome back to another video. Today we're actually going to be working on the M4 right here. Random change of plans. We were supposed to be working on the E30, but um, we're actually going to be working on the tail lights. I picked up a new set of tail lights. Which so, ones are they? So these are the pre LCI, the ones that are currently on the car. Uh, these are like the 2015 and older models. Yes, uh, style headlights. So you see a sequential start, you see a sequential um, blinker. So it'll and be a nice it, upgrade. Is it all like adjustable and stuff? Um, no, so these come like pl plug and play. So whatever settings are usually added is usually how it goes. They look a little bit darker too. It's like a, it's like it has like a dark hint to it compared to the stock tail lights. Yeah, it's a little bit darker. And then you can see like the, the inside lines and it has like the butterfly wings so this is all the wiring for it doesn't seem too bad I think it's pretty easy plug-and-play and then it's from Keith Motorsports so if you own a BMW you know that this company had literally everything for your BMW but I guess we're just gonna go ahead and start installing that should be pretty easy uh, but let's get into it so my guess is per every headlight you gotta get all this liner off get all those panels out and then there's usually gonna be like four bolts I'm not sure about this car two, two bolts um, and then you just pull it out unplug it and then you toss in the new ones and just put everything back together exactly how you took, took it apart so I'm thinking it's not gonna be too bad and then obviously I'm guessing the factory wiring harness is gonna connect into here and then this is gonna connect into the new tail lights so should be pretty easy Yeah. Looks like you can just pull it off now. Yeah. There you go. No, I just stuck around right here. There we go. Uh, it's the, the pulley. Oh, the em emergency. Opener. There we go. All right, so now it looks like you just loosen up this and this, and that's it, right? Yeah, so you're gonna loosen up this and then this. So you first start with this one, you unbolt it, take it off, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna unbolt this one so then we can connect the wire through here and plug it into the other piece over here. Okay, strip it either. You're gonna have to pull, I think, this way? Yeah, this way, and then this side. I don't see a budget on this side. Yeah, I don't see a budget Let's on there. unplug it real quick. So now we're just unclipping the smaller portion of the taillights. So if you look inside, you'll see Got some it. clips. There you go. Just like that. I think it was uh, this clip right here. Small one. Yep. Yeah, see, it does have like a darker hue to it. You see, it's light red, and then you have like a little bit darker tint of the red. That was good. Yeah. So overall, it's really easy to get the tail lights out. It's just this bolt right here, this bolt right here. Unplug it, and it should pop straight out. And on this one, there's an eight mil, uh, and then a small clip. You just push up on those, and then you have. This little side piece, plastic, that just sits right here. Unfortunately, we broke the clips that go on the bottom of it, but we just stick it back on. And once you get those, you just push up and it should pop out. So I think now what we're gonna go ahead and do is install the new ones on this side. We can get before and after look of both, which is gonna be nice. And then um, from there, we'll start tackling this side, which again, should be even easier since we already got that side done uh, very quick. And this is the new one going in. Oh, 
Okay, so we ran into a small issue. This little, what do you call this right here? Stud right here. Yeah. It seats into the actual plastic. And on the new one, we actually, I guess, tightened it a little bit too much and it actually unseated and pulled out. So we just mixed up some epoxy or plastic weld um, and then put that in there, we tightened it. So now we're gonna wait 15 minutes and hopefully it doesn't happen on the, the second one as well. So um, once that dries, we'll throw it back in. There was, a, there was an issue why we were tightening so much. It was just that it was sitting a little bit high on the top end and it wasn't sitting flush on the bottom. So I'm not sure what's causing that. I think it might just be the fitment of the tail light, but uh, we'll try one more time once the epoxy dries and hopefully we can get it to sit right. Because on this one, there's an even gap on the bottom and the top, but that one, it was a little bit tighter on the top end trying to make it look as perfect as possible. Now on the pre-LCIs, we do have that extra plug and plug. We can try it, hopefully. Yeah, but so we ended up just taking out both of the set of tail lights while we were waiting for that epoxy or plastic bond to dry up. So now we have right side and the left side, sorry, right side and the left side out. And now, once we dry, get that dried up. And he's over here trying to figure out the wiring. If you are interested in any of the tools or parts we use in today's video, it shouldn't be that bad it doesn't look that bad if anything Akil, we can just start plugging stuff up seeing if it works yeah i'm gonna do that right now okay so we just randomly wired up a few random things we don't really know exactly what we did um because we weren't sure if this was pre-lci or lci tail lights but okay so this one is flickering like crazy it just stopped this is turn this is turn signal right yeah is this turn signal turned off <clears throat> no it's still on now it off break now it's on again. Okay, the brake came on. Um, no, it's fine now. What else is there? Um, yeah, put on the reverse. Ah, damn. So the reverse light works. What else is there? Why isn't the big sequential on? The big sequential lights? That, that didn't turn on yet. It was on earlier. Yeah. Right now, just a small bulb is on. So any, whenever you start the car, mm -hmm. it, it flickers. I'm guessing that's supposed to be like that. It isn't. Yeah, flicker. so this one flickers, but the sequential isn't turning on just yet. Yeah. Well, I, I close the door and unlock it again. Yeah. yeah, see that, when is that supposed to be on? When is it supposed to stay on? Yeah, when the car is on. So it wasn't on though. But did you have your lights on actually? No, you didn't. Auto, it was on auto. So yeah, so you turn, yeah, turn the, the yeah, put it, yeah. don't even start it, just put on accessory mode and see if it turns on. Because it's if it, right now it's on, it's, it means yeah, it's working. Because it's on uh, daytime? <laughs> yeah, so just put on, uh, how about now? yep, so nothing yet. Oh, now it's on, so it's working. Yeah, so it looks like everything's working. Uh, before we bolt anything down, let's do the opposite side and just make sure everything's working and then we'll go ahead and do it. But it looks good, it looks really good. So we're getting everything wired up and it's not too bad, it's a little bit confusing depending on if you have the LCI or pre-LCI lights. Um, but we plugged in the main harness to the back of this and then there's another wire that you're gonna bring through and you're gonna bring that all the way up here and plug it into the black and yellow wires so it's gonna be a red and black and it connects to yellow and black and that's gonna connect this light to this light and you should be good on that. Once you have that, you're gonna connect the baluster to purple, blue, and black and then all on the baluster it's gonna be purple, blue, and black as well so you know exactly where that goes. And this, you have tape on it so you can just stick it up wherever you want um, so when you put this up, it doesn't get in the way. And then you obviously have the main wiring harness that comes off on, yeah, comes on the new light. And you're gonna plug that right back into the factory harness that's still stuck on the car. I think the most annoying part is you do have to unseat two of those clips that he has in his hand. It. Yeah, so you're gonna have to unseat these out of the clip, feed them through the hole right there. 
just like that and then put them back into the clip so it's a little bit tedious but nothing too bad and then again you're just gonna feed that up through the the liner up to the trunk and that's the wire that's gonna go into the yellow and black so everything seems to be working for us I'm not sure if, a, if it's a feature or not but when we start the car with the car in accessory mode it flickers but it doesn't look like it's unintentional it looks like it's made to do that and then it stops flickering and then the rest of the sequentials turn on and it's only this light right here that flickers so my guess is intentional um, once we get everything set up we'll I guess look at it a little bit more see if it's something that's not supposed to be happening overall it looks fine so keeping it for now what I ended up doing was I took the wire that connects all the way to the top light and I fed it through this tiny hole brought it up through here and then up so now no matter what it won't get in the way and then we have all the plastics that cover up the entire section and then obviously you want to leave a good amount of slack so that when the trunk opens and closes um, it's not pulling down on the wire and just like that we're all done uh, on, before you turn it on mind popping the trunk so all the wires are tucked away underneath all the plastics you can't even tell um, we got everything back in now let's go ahead and see how they look but That was tough. That was really good. So this is how the startup looks for the car. So go ahead. You got the blinker. You got the little sequential sequence and then so that's the turn signal right there put the reverse light on So we found out this thing where when you turn the car on or accessory mode on, this flashes. And we talked a little bit about it earlier, but I think it's actually intentional because both lights do it and they do it perfectly in sync. And then they turn off after what, I think two seconds or 2.5 seconds, something like that. about to start, it turns off. Yeah, so overall, it looks a lot nicer. I'm not sure if you guys can tell on camera, but compared to the factory lights, these are a little bit darker. The closed areas where it's not the LEDs behind it is a lot darker. And then even where the lights are and the bulbs are, it's uh, it's a darker shade of red. So it looks a lot nicer. It looks more aggressive. And obviously the tail lights just look a lot more aggressive too. But yeah, if you're thinking about getting them, I would highly recommend it. The install wasn't too bad. The um, install only took like an hour and a half. Yeah, we were just a little bit confused on the wiring portion. That's easy. Once you figure out what LCI your car is. Yeah, it wasn't it wasn't bad at all. So it's literally just unplugging the wires here taking out the tail light here taking all this off yeah, doing the same thing on the side play, honestly. yeah this is one of the easier mods that we've done like compared to the steering wheel this was a lot easier um the steering wheel only took a few hours but i had experience doing it before so it was a little bit faster but the first time it took hours and then this one super easy i would say you could probably get it done within an hour if you're really trying to rush it but we made sure to put everything back together. We didn't break any clips or anything. We got everything taped up properly, so everything's put away. And overall, the fitment on the taillights is pretty solid. Um, obviously, there's, it's not factory, so there's some bigger gaps than normal, but you can't tell unless you're like right up close to it. But even then, it's barely visible. So overall, I think it's a good product.